everybody, time for another Theme Fortress, and for this, like, next week, upcoming week, I want to see window loadouts, and especially loadouts with Blizzardy Storm and or Frostbite. So, I would love some submissions with that, and uh, I'd prefer if you did them in loadout.tf, because then, you know, if, if you can do them in-game and you have Blizzardy Storm and Frostbite, by all means, go ahead. But, uh, otherwise, no thank you. Just... Load up the TF is fine. I just like I'm only gonna accept window loadouts for the next episode. Basically, it's gonna be the winter special. Uh, Christmas loadout does not count for winter. It just needs to be, you know, a bit cozy, a bit wintry. Like looks like you're ready to go out in the snow. Basically, that's what I want to see. And then preferably with those snow effects, if you can, a cool weapon will also work very well. And uh, if you want to submit, you just go to the description below. Look for my Discord link. It's somewhere there. You join my Discord, you go to this uh, text channel called Themed Fortress, and then you just put your submissions there. So first up, we have something that looks like a pyro that's working at some nuclear kind of thing. I'm not really sure. The boots kind of make it so that it's not really theme per se, like it doesn't really go together. And um, I also think it's a troll loadout as in, like, or, and personal loadout for that matter. So... I'm giving it 10 points for trolling, but it is with the bonus. If it had a leg cosmetic, or if it didn't use an unusual, it would get uh, 11 points though. This one gets 10 points off the bat. It turns out this is Hulk Hogan, which is uh, a wrestler by what I could gather. I recall seeing his face, and that's why I started asking in on my Discord if somebody could help me a bit. So I mean, technically cheating, but... Like, like, excuse me for these, but it's like... It, know his face but it's like is it is it a guy from like did i see him on discovery or something i'm not sure like that kind of thing where i know i've seen his face before but i can't quite put where it is and i don't know his name so i kind of have to ask a bit to not embarrass myself so i will admit that but um 10 points very nice loadout my guess on the team for this is that it's supposed to be a very american soldier as in soldier from tf2 but very american Compatriot, the rocket launcher, and then you even have the beard like color matched with the rocket in the lucky shot. So, getting the bonus point with like the whole thing it's got going, and that gets it to 10 even though it doesn't have a body or leg cosmetic. So, uh, pretty nice overall. Theme is that it's supposed to be a cyborg engineer, pretty obvious. Uh, giving it 9 points, it is with the bonus, because I realize it's, hard, it's like hard to paint, and couldn't really, you know, the Gunslinger doesn't really have a skin, so let's say the Gunslinger had a skin, you could get like a kill cover, or maybe alien tag, and then paint the boot flag as well, and then you would have it there, but seeing as that's not the case, I could see how knots and bolts on, like, slapping it into uh, loadout.tf and adding knots and bolts to it would work. And that's the only recommendation I can give this loadout to actually, you know, be able to get 10 points. This one is actually a very old submission from, like, way at the start that I wanted to cover ever since. But since it doesn't really have any paint matching or any unusual effect, I've just kind of pushed it away. But figured, why not take it today? I'm giving it 9 points. It is with the bonus. The places that it lack is the paint and unusual effect. So... Other than that, it's a very nice loadout. I think the theme is supposed to be, you know, basically either something related to voodoo, or you open like a gravestone, and then this thing is staring you down with snakes around him, and it's like very scary. But uh, the reason why I'm thinking it's something like uh, voodoo related is because, well, it's first off the voodoo cursed soul used, and it's a vanga prick, which seems to be very voodoo style, and then especially with also the snakes. So 9 points for that. This one is actually very interesting because it managed to get 10 points despite not having paint or unusual effect. But the thing is, it has the paint on the weapon, which also counts because if you have either like paint or skins to go with like the theme, then yes. So this one not only gets like the weapons fitting the theme, but also gets the paint fitting the theme there. And um, pretty, pretty, like very good loadout to be honest. Like, Giving 10 points there, there's nothing much to say there. Pretty creative. This one is an exception because it has so much wasted potential. Like, could have had a burning flames for, you know, on fire and overwatch because this is supposed to be solely 76. Doesn't necessarily need the bandana, you could have um, used a body cosmetic instead. Or because you're on loadout the TF, you could be a bit cheeky and just added a body cosmetic. 
you know, a fourth cosmetic, even though it's a bit, you know, cheating, but I mean, then you have your soul 76, right? And, um, like, that's just, like, the creativity bonus even gets taken away, because Funk have already used this loadout. It's not even getting a point for having uh, weapons fitting in with the loadout, because soul 76 have a gun. This guy doesn't have a gun. Anyways, getting four points, just also taking it in just to show you guys how much wasted potential a loadout can have compared to some of the other ones because it I think it's still important to show that this one could have easily gotten 10 points with a few you know tweaks a bit creativity would even get the creativity bonus for that but hey so I think this is supposed to be a unicorn and the thing is like I'm giving it 8 points it's a fine score but if the main had been painted pink it would Probably have gotten point for the paint there, and probably have gotten a bonus point as well. But other than that, it's still getting eight points because oh, it it I get the idea behind it. Wanted to make like a, a unicorn with like a mane, and maybe again be a bit cheeky, add in a fourth cosmetic just for like body cosmetic, or you know I don't know, maybe an unusual effect to to go with it. Who knows? Still giving it eight points though. My guess for the theme of this one is that it's supposed to be like, I've seen some movies where there are some soldiers in the jungle kind of thing, or there's like forests around them, you know, and he looks very much like one of those like uh, standout soldiers or like the outfit that they're wearing, and you know what, I, I just really like it. It, it, like it reminds me of a movie for sure, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it definitely reminds me of that movie. And that's something I just like about it. So I'm giving it 10 points. It is with the bonus because it doesn't have an unusual effect. But very simple, elegant, nice loadout. Very, very happy for it. I really like this loadout, even though it does seem like a personal loadout. And uh, because I think it's a personal loadout, I won't give it the bonus. But it's still very nice. It basically gets all the other points except for unusual, which would yield one more point. But uh, the theme for this, by what I would say, is that it's a very, you know, general military style pilot guy, like, very good at piloting planes, he even jumps out of them sometimes, he have his attack packs, he's he's ready to go, like, as soon as the, the, like, airplane gets shot down, he just jumps out and then he wins to war on his own with his, like, airstrike ready and his attack packs and he's just, he's ready, he's ready, that's the whole thing, giving it 9 points for that. I think this is a personal loadout, but let's uh, move aside for that because I'm still giving it 10 points under the theme of being a uh, hellspawn or maybe, you know, the devil. Th those black and eyes are saying a lot, you know, and then there's like the burning flames and the smoke and then also the hot on the weapons Everything looks so well together and um, th That's why I'm giving it 10 points even though you know it, it looks like it's a very much personal loadout But hey, I'd say the theme is supposed to be like a rock star everything goes well together I think I'm even giving it the bonus because it is lacking a body cosmetic like doesn't have paint either but everything else seems to be in order so giving it nine points there it does basically look like uh, somebody's dad took like the um, you no know, like earplugs put them in started listening to some music and started rocking it out and being like so good that like effects started popping out from behind his head i don't know but my guess is still like a rock star and um, giving it nine points for that this one is actually a bit interesting because it reminds me of something from my childhood with a, which is like some cookies with chocolate inside like the prince there I, I believe he were in yellow and blue so it, it kind of fits there I'm not sure if I'm crazy or anything like the milk even fits with like milk chocolate right but let's pretend that's actually the theme that he went for he gets 10 points otherwise um, yeah maybe not maybe, maybe 8 points take it for what you will the childhood nostalgia really like over talk me from going like from 8 points to 10 points there, so enjoy that. So th there's a bit of wasted potential here, it's supposed to be an alien by what I'd guess. Only giving it 7 points though, I think the specialized were a bit too much. Like take that, slap it into loadout the TF, uh, remove the specialized, add the space suit, and then add nebula effect. Would have been 10 points right there, just saying. But uh, other than that, I mean, still looks like an alien in that sense, at least in the face region, the rest, not really. The mall does, but hey, that's right, gets for the, you know, points for having the weapon fitting in.
But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you again next time.